Hey guys, welcome back to Nuss Girls Gameplay. My name is Sunny D. Here you are watching me giving you watch. It's that's a weird intro. Basically, I'm giving you a daily scrolls match. God damn it, Sunny. Can you get that down? All right, so we have things in our hand, and we will always keep a push bag in our hand. So it seems like we are going to get rid of the waking still and the pushback depending on what we draw because we do need monsters and we're up against growth and we're also going second we're going second so we're also up against a guy named pierce law or just pierce law now right, we got for me okay sister sister mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right I will, I will use pot there just to draw that card neatly I need my drawing power. Move. I'm just controlling your girl. Take that. Yeah, if it's if it's unnecessary to keep pot there in your hand, uh, you can just use it for uh, the means of just drawing that one card. I think it's good because you you put it in rotation. So it's kind of like when you sack the bigger cards, not not only because it's an obvious choice, but because you want to put it back in, you know, the library. So we will get rid of this, and we won't do the waking stones because that one damage is too perfect for them. So we're just gonna amp it up on this one right here. Good positioning though. That's this is good coverage between the the th uh, the middle row and the. Second, third, fourth rows are really good coverage because you can always go to the first and last row, but the options is too good. Oh, okay, so should I just should I just stack a top? I don't know. What should I do? Uh, we will spiky instead. Actually, we'll spiky. Okay. We'll push back this guy before he will be able to do anything unless I can kill him with a focus. And if I draw focus, that would be great, but if not, that's okay too. What I don't want him to do is run run totem. That's definitely what I don't want him to do. But he, he can kill the spiky next turn. Yeah, if he summons veteran and is willing to sack both the sister fox and the veteran's health. He has five. Ooh, great wolf. Oh, focus, there it is. So I have to what? Wait next turn? I have to wait next turn, which is fine by me. If you know what's good for ya, you will put a defense mechanism in front of your great wolf because I don't have any pushbacks. Well, that works too. Oh, very nice. Very nice. What if, what if I have my defense mechanism? Bastard. You bastard. Alright, actually, I want to keep both of them to be honest because I can do. I can kill them next round, so. But. If I can't, I can't. If I can't, I can't. Let's just draw one for two. Alright, cool. That's fine by me. Can you hear the sirens? Oh, you can hear the sirens. It's too early. It's too early for that. Sister of Fox is hacking away at my idols at the top and bottom, but ooh, what do you have for me in the middle? Good sir, you're running six? What happens at six? Huh? What do you got for me at six? Look at that. Good choices everywhere. Oh, I do have a kabunk, and that's nice. Uh, would I kabunk you? Sure. But then I can't summon Scholar, but it's fine. He's not gonna attack next round, right? Yeah, he's not gonna attack next round. Uh, I will get rid of the Scholar now, because I'm gonna summon General next turn. Oh, there it is. Now I'm curious if I should, let, should even let him set up. Should 
Should I let him set up or should I do Imperial Resources? Now this this is where I get stuck when it comes to playing order. Since this uh, resource is fairly new, I'm like, you obviously need monsters, right? But I feel like they they are pretty tanky and I just can take hits, but I just can only take so much hits, Sonny. I just can only take so much hits. Let's just just let's just prep ourselves. Another general. Okay, we're just gonna cast release pure resources, and that's that's gonna happen. I'm curious what he's gonna do next round. Is he gonna uh, move me in? Because he might have control and cooldown. But if he's smart, he know what order has, and order has haste and speed and all that nonsense. Ha, ha ha! Good sir, good try. He. Oh my God, he's also a growth order. Oh man. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. I think I can get rid of haste. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all they're doing. Oh my god! You're killing me here. Alright, that's his, that's his second Magic Wolf. I'm curious if he has a third one. Julio, burial ground. Of course. My heart is in dismay, good sir. It's in dismay. Alright, so I need a protection. So that's this is the plan right here. Here you go. So he needs to run um what is it? God's hand or a rally crimson bowl to destroy my face right now. And he you know he probably he probably will have those in his hand. He has five cards in his hand. I don't doubt it. I do not doubt it. He also plucked one for one scroll for two. Oh, um, my, my my odds are not good. There's the rallying, and there's the crimson bow. Hi. Yeah, it took it took him very little to do what he had to do here. It took him very oh perfect. Isn't that perfect? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, okay, Kabunk this. Uh, more relentless. Hmm. He can actually end game. Yeah, he can. God's hands! Oh, he forfeited a wipe me. That's cool. I never met four I wipe before. Oh no, well, there's more of your dad daily scrolls match. Until next time. <sighs>